question is youth youth in the cor corridor are over representative when it comes to death and serious injuries as well as incarceration resulting from youth violence. Oftentimes this ep epidemic of violence has a direct correlation. correlation to conflict between gang involved youth. What community led and community based initiatives or strategies would you advocate for and in implement during your administration? Please note we are aware of the Collabor collaborate or collaboration relationships that exist between law enforcement and community-based organizations. But those collaborative efforts are government-led. What we are stressing here is community-based and community-led initiatives. Okay, so you know when dealing with gangs, there's two parts of the of the problem. One is you have to have prevention, which is where we need community-based organizations to lead efforts to help educate people as to why they should be in gangs in the first place and give them something to do that's more interesting and more enticing than being in a gang. And that's part of, you know, again, having a relationship with the police department. You're not afraid of the police. You don't have to go to the gang for protection is a big part of that. As well as educating people about opportunities for jobs and, edu and education, and everything I talked about earlier about educating those kids from third grade to eighth grade and making sure that they don't get lost in the cycle in the first place. But there has to also be enforcement as well, because you know gangs are pretty serious things, and they have to be they have to be rooted out and they have to be put in jail for breaking the law and hurting people. So it's a two pronged approach. It's 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 respect and responsibility. If you're a member of our community and you play by the rules, you need to be respected. And we need to help you live what we believe is the American dream. That requires good education with proper support <coughs> services. That requires job training. That requires opportunities for jobs in the first place. But there's also responsibility. If you don't play by the rules, if you break the rules, you're going to get in trouble. So you have to try and do the both. And everything we've been talking about tonight in very discreet ways, in, in specific ways, is all about this big picture. How is it we don't lose another generation of kids? It requires us to pay attention to these young people before their life goes off the rails. 75% of the people in jail have a drug, alcohol, or mental health problem. So we need to make sure that we're helping young people at young ages not to have fall victim to drugs, alcohol, and mental health problems. That requires us to have the services at these young ages to help people so that they don't end up getting in trouble in the first place, including joining again. Thank you. The next question will be asked.